In this video, we are going to take three functions and look at them algebraically to determine if they are even, odd, or neither. So the first function we have here is f of x equals 3x to the fourth minus 6x squared plus 5. First, let's recall, in order for a function to be even, f of negative x has to be the same thing as f of x. So the first thing I do when testing a function is I evaluate f of negative x. In this case, that will be 3 times negative x to the fourth minus 6 times negative x squared plus 5. Negative x to the fourth is just negative x times negative x times negative x times negative x. Let's write that out. Well, negative times negative is positive times negative is negative, times negative again is positive. And any time we have an even power on x, that will be true. Sorry, I should write these as well. So x, negative x squared is negative x times negative x. And I ask, is this right here exactly the same as our original. Yes, it is, so I can stop. This function is even. How about this next function? g of x equals 11x to the 7th minus 3x to the 5th plus 1. What is g of negative x? We get 11 times negative x to the seventh minus 3 times negative x to the fifth plus 1. Well, let's remember. From what we did above, when I took negative x to an even power, it was the same thing as x to the even power. So if this was negative x to the sixth, we would have the same thing as x to the 6th. But since this is negative x to the 7th, I might as well have negative x to the 6th times negative x. Here I might as well have negative x to the 4th times negative x. Well, we determined in the previous problem that negative x to the sixth would be the same thing as x to the sixth. I multiply that by a negative, and I'm going to get negative 11x to the seventh. Again, from the previous problem, this would be the same thing as positive x to the fourth multiplied by a negative x gives me negative x to the fifth, but times a negative out here is going to give me positive 3x to the fifth, and now we ask, is this the exact same as our original? Well, no. Both of these signs have changed. So we know the function is not even. So let's recall, in order to be odd, let's change colors again, only slightly, but ooh, we'll do this one. f of negative x has to be the same thing as negative f of x. Well, I already have f of negative x right here. Well, g of negative x right here. So let's determine what negative g of x would be. That means I'm just taking the original g of x and tossing a negative sign out front. But remember, in order to be out front, it has to be in front of parentheses. And to get rid of these parentheses, I simply distribute that negative sign. And I ask, is this the same 
is this. Are these two the same? Almost, but not quite. There's that minus one. So we know it is also not odd, which makes this particular function neither even nor odd. Now you may have noticed in the first one, all powers of x were even, which made our function even. Here it looks like all powers are odd, so shouldn't it be odd? Well, 1 is essentially the same thing as 1 times x to the 0. So this is an even power. So we have a mixture of odd and even powers, which means this one is neither even nor odd. Does that trick always work? Sort of. Whenever we have a polynomial function, that trick will work. When we have something that is not a polynomial, that trick no longer works. So we have to go ahead and evaluate it as even or odd. So again, I start with even. h of negative x is 2 times the square root of negative x squared plus 1 minus 5. But negative x squared is just x squared, so that's 2 times the square root of x squared plus 1 minus 5, which is our original, so this one is even. Thank you very much for watching.